Hello, Cancer, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Cancer, today we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style reading. Let's see what you need to know right now, Cancer. Let's talk about you. Let's see what's coming through, whether it's silver lining, something being hidden. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know right now. Well, 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 we got soulmate energy in the house. Okay, maybe we're coming to a love you, what you need to know right now. The soulmates can also represent soul contracts, um, loyalty. Um, let's see what's going on here. Let's get into your reading. Can't see what you need to know right now. And Cancer, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the link is in the description box below. Well, damn, we got the Seven of Swords here. Okay. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands. This is what you need to know right now. This is how it affects you. Okay. There's a Knight of Wands. Now, this could be a soul contract, not a soulmate. We have the Five of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Wands. We're definitely coming into a, a, a reading about a, a, a lover, a partner, or a connection of some kind. The Seven of Swords, Cancer, you got yourself a liar here. You're dealing with someone who lacks honesty. They could be sneaky. They could have ulterior motives. What does Cancer need to know about the Seven of Swords here? What does Cancer need to know? One card. Letting go of something that's not for you. Seven of Cups. You might be confused. There's a Five of Pentacles here twice. This may have already happened, Cancer. It may be coming through. But it's someone that I feel you're looking at. Like they're your twin flame. You're, they're your soulmate. Um, and they're a soul contract. They're, there's a difference. Um, twin flames Twin flames are kind of controversial. A lot of people believe different things. But I believe that they're very tumultuous relationships and ones that are meant to teach us. Uh, we typically don't end up with our twin flame, and I see it in the comments all the time, all the separation, all the, the frustration, the ups and downs in those relationships, because they're meant to teach us. Um, this person is teaching you how to let go. The hangman in reverse is when we're holding on to something that is not for us. Now, it could be simply holding on. This person might already have left your life cancer. It could be holding on to what they did. It could be resentment. It could be frustration. It could be a lack of forgiveness. The seven of cups are here in the five of pentacles, which tells us, or it tells me as a reader that you don't understand. The five of, seven of cups is the card of confusion. It's a card of illusion, um, but it's a card of confusion. So it's, it's, you have choices, you have options, and you don't know what choice to take. But with the five of pentacles, their behavior has confused you. You don't fully understand. Um, but what you need to know right now is it is time to let that go. Cause that was a soul contract. Um, the Knight of wands, we got the Knight of wands and the nine and the King. So you're very attracted to this person. They could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but there's the four swords. It's time to move forward. Damn. What did they do? So cancer, what you need to know right now is this was a soul contract. They are a sneaky, a liar, maybe a cheater, maybe a stealer. They were sneaking around behind your back. They weren't being honest with you. And it's time to let that go, whether it's forgiveness, whether it's resentment, um, whether it's just a thought that this is your soulmate and you're the person you're meant to be with and you don't understand why they did that. They did that because the universe wants someone better for you. Um, what is the lesson that this person, what's the soul contract? Mm, they might let me get there. They might not. It was a general reading, but what is that soul contract? What it learning to let go of this person. It's accepting people exactly for who they are. Um, and remember when we're talking about relationships, right? And there's two people, if you guys are on different frequencies, let's say you did all the work and you're raising your frequency and they didn't, it doesn't matter. They're not in the same frequency. It's not going to happen right now. You guys could be in the same place, but you won't feel each other. You won't see each other. You won't be on the same page. So it's learning to let go of a strong bond and a strong connection when a person does you wrong. And instead of, you know, focusing on the resentment or feeling sorry or whatever those emotions are inside of you, it's flipping the script and knowing that this was meant to teach you how to let go of people who are not healthy and not meant to be in your life. If, yeah, it's learning to walk away, whether it's walking away from this person, walking away from the resentment, walking away from lack of forgiveness, walking away from negative thinking, they're teaching you to walk away from that cancer. That's what the soul contract was with this person. And that's what you need to know right now. The seven of wands is how it affects you. This is using this betrayal. This is using this sneakiness, this lying, cheating, stealing, whatever they did as motivation to get what it is that you want. It's popping your bubble up. I'm rubber, you're glue. Everything you says bounces off of me and sticks to you, right? Metaphysics for children. Um, but it's being comfortable in your own skin. Whenever we see the, the pillow in the tarot, it represents comfort, it represents stability. You're comfortable with who you are. You're not gonna let this person get to you, their thoughts, their actions. No, no, no. You're gonna use that as motivation to get where you want to go. And that's how this affects you, is more motivation to find a better person suited for you, to find that person who deserves you um, and use this negative experience as motivation to get there. 
Now the advice or what you um, actions to take is the Knight of Wands. That's interesting. I feel um, it's kind of a harsh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna uh, before I clarify and tell you what I instantly feel because I feel like it is a message for someone, but it's a little bit harsh. It's recognizing when someone's not invested, when someone's being hot and cold, when someone's contacting you when it's convenient for them. So it's recognizing those red flags and those qualities within someone. The Knight of Wands is a very passionate, but they're very inconsistent, hot and cold. They're not invested. So it's recognizing when someone's not invested, when someone's distracted, when they're somewhere over here in left field and you're in right field. It's representing inconsistent effort. And when someone is inconsistent with you, it's about pulling your energy back and recognizing they're simply not invested. Um, what else do you want to say about that Nine of Wands? I don't feel that's for everybody. It could be. What else do you want to say about this Nine of Wands here for Cancer? It's really what they did want to say. There's a page of swords. Just learning to recognize that, right? If they only if they only text you or call you when they want something or if they are very inconsistent, you know, you go four or five days without talking to you. You know, in the 90s, that might have been normal. But in 2024, it's not. It takes two minutes to text and say, hey, how's your day? So, you know, when you see those types of inconsistencies, it's about letting that person go and setting those boundaries and knowing what you don't deserve and you don't deserve to be treated that way, Cancer. That's what you need to know right now. So let's grab some oracles. We're going to see what they want to say. And uh, we shall get back to the tarot. What does Cancer need to surrender to when it comes to... Okay. Mm, your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. So it's more effectively achieve your goals. Back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. All right, what's the spirit animal message? Yeah, self-love, the peacock. Damn, Skippy. You will find great power in focusing on the positive aspects of yourself. That which makes you indefinitely unique and beautiful. There are deep wells of untapped inner power at letting go of the negative self-talk or just the negative people. Sometimes when people do that, we take a personal and we feel like it's us, but it's not personal cancer. It's not you. It's them. They're going through their own shit. Um, they're just not going to tell you, right? <laughs> um, what's the energy oracle message here for cancer? Victory! Damn, skip it, motherfucker. All right, all right. When one comes out of the deck, the message is in the book. I've always believed that and I always will. One moment, please. Let me get your message. Just to point out, this is about success and achievement. But I think you figured that out when you've seen this big ass successful golden uh, success wreath over here. Okay, this card shows a beautiful spirit holding a golden victory wreath in acknowledgement of your achievement. Success is on the way and you should have a huge sense of pride in what you've worked to accomplish. This achievement could be a great outer success or it could be a deep inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort for. Enjoy this sense of accomplishments, but be careful not to rest upon your laurels. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there's still inner work to do. So let yourself be open to victory on every level now. All right, Cancer. Well, let's just get back to the tarot and let's see what other messages spirit guides want to pass along. Let's see what else you need to know right now. Oh my gosh, we have a fortune. Ace of Swords. Once you understand, let that go. The wheel is spinning in your favor, but the wheel of fortune is good luck. It's karma. It's the wheel of dharma spinning for you. It's also the card of divine timing and destiny, but when it's with the Ace of Swords, it represents to me inner alchemy. Well, I mean, it does other times too, but right now, that's where I'm going to focus. Because <laughs> the Ace of Swords is being honest. It's being truthful. It's being clear with yourself, but it's also the card of success. In the Rider Waite deck, the Ace of Swords has the success wreath over top of it. And there's a page of wands. So... Hmm, who's coming through for you? Well, 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 Kansa, Kansa, Kansa. That, oh, you might be a little guarded. Okay, so, and there's a Nine of Cups. So first of all, divine timing. <laughs> um, second of all, inner alchemy. Processing the past, removing the influence, removing those feelings, turning a negative situation into a positive. But letting go and releasing that past, I think this soulmate is this person coming through, baby. Look at what we got here. We got ourselves a page of wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But this really represents a romance, meeting someone who is emotionally available, emotionally deep, who's going to express and talk about their emotions. I do feel you might be a little bit guarded though. So it might be really close to like what time frame and you might not have fully healed from this past or you're still a little bit of healing to take place. So what I do feel is, first of all, you don't see it coming because she's got the blindfolds on. But second of all, I do feel you're going to be a little guarded. And my opinion from my knowledge of cancer 
at the beginning of connections you are you're not easy to trust but the thing is when someone has your once they have your trust you're completely loyal and your heart is in it and i feel you'll take this slow um you don't see it coming but i also feel you know her guard is down right she's not hostile she's not angry she's not mad She's just going to feel it out and take it slow. And she's making the choice to do that. And that's what I feel you're going to make the choice to do that. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's the Queen of Wands. It could be an age different. Yeah, see, there's the Knight of Pentacles. You're going to take it slow. But there's the card of success. There could be a very strong physical attraction here with this Ace, of, with this Queen of Wands. Um, but I love that we have the Wand in the Cup. Because it represents physical connection, passion, chemistry. But it represents an emotional connection as well. You got some romance in the air with someone who's going to be very sweet and very attractive. There's a nine of cups, cancer, wish come true, dream fulfillment, making you feel valued and appreciated. You'll take this slow, but in divine timing, you're going to meet that right person. There's the moon and you're, it might catch you off guard. It might be in a very unexpected way or unexpected time, but that's what you need to know right now. <laughs> All right, Cancer. So that's what I got for you today. So I do hope you enjoyed your reading. I do hope it benefited you. As always, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe if you like my style. If you do when you support me, thank you, thank you, thank you, Cancer. I always appreciate your support. I really do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no? What's the answer for Cancer? Um, no. <laughs> that's what I have. Cancer, I do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.